Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to connect the most popular Google products for your website to each other to share information between them so you can have more reports and share more information and have ultimately more functionality between them. The four uh, sites, the four features and services I'm going to share today are number one, Google Analytics 4. Number two, obviously for tracking, number two is Google Search Console for the general state of your health of your website and your SEO. Number three is Google Ads for running Google Ads. And number four is Google Merchant for your shopping site if you have an e-commerce site for sharing your products for both free listings and ads and other things. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is why would you share information? So uh, you, in order to uh, run some of these things, certain things, for example, shopping ads, you have to link your Google Merchant Center because that's where you submit your products to your product feed. If you don't have it, you cannot run a Google shopping ads. Uh, number two is you can actually get some more reports if you share. So for example, Google Analytics and Google Search Console, if you connect the two, you can have Google Search Console reports in your Google Analytics and in Google Search Console, you can get more data from your Google Analytics data. Um, so I'm going to jump in and show you this very quick video how to connect the different parts. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is Google Analytics. We're going to link Google Analytics to Google Search Console. So what do we do? I log into my Google Analytics account and I go to the bottom to the admin. And when I go to the admin, I basically have my account and property. I'm going to go to property. I'm going to scroll down to product links and I'm going to look all the way down here for Search Console links. When I do that, I'm going to be able to link them. Now, a very, very important, all of these accounts that we're linking right here, they have to be within the same Google account. If they're not within the same Google account, you cannot connect them. So make sure you have access, admin access, enough permissions for all of these four. Um, sometimes view access will not be, allow you to share. So make sure you have sufficient access to all of these accounts via the same email, the same Google account. So I already have it. Um, so I already have access. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on link and I'm going to actually go ahead. I'm going to choose my account and I'm going to choose obviously the same account itself. And I'm going to click here on the checkbox and I'm going to click on confirm. Then I can click next. I can select the web stream. Okay, obviously this is the stream of the Google Analytics. I only have one in this case and I'm going to submit. It's going to confirm and I'm going to submit it. So once it's uh, confirmed, I created the link. Okay. And that's it. The link is created. Okay. So now we've shared Google Analytics to Google Search Console. So in Search Console, if you go, if you go to the settings itself, okay, you'll be able to have associations and then this will actually link itself. So let's refresh the page and you'll see that the Google Analytics 4 is refreshed and it's good to go. Okay, so now Analytics and Search Console are linked. Now what we want to do is we want to link Google Analytics. Let's go back to our settings admin, back to property. Now we want to link our Google Ads, right? So let's click on Google Ads right here. And we already have a link right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this link so we can show in the video. Okay, I'm going to click on link and of course I have to have the same accounts, right? So I'm going to go here and I'm going to uh, click on link. I'm going to find my section right here, which is the same and I'm going to confirm. Click on next, make sure everything's okay. I enable personalized advertising, that's fine. Auto tagging, that's fine. In general, you always want to have auto tagging on unless you have a very specific custom requirement for URLs uh, for your ads, but most very um, far majority do not need that. Okay, so I'm going to click on submit. And now I've connected my Google ads after a few seconds. Okay, so now if I refresh it, here it is. Okay, we got it. Okay, so we've connected GA4, Search Console, Google ads. Now we need to connect our Google Merchant Center. Okay, so if you're in Merchant Center, you go here, you're going to click always click on the uh, admin, the settings. Okay, when you click on the settings, you're going to click on linked accounts. Okay. So if I clicked on linked accounts right here, I want to link my account. Okay, so I'm going to go here to link accounts and I'm going to go to the Google Ads customer ID. So what I need to do is I need to go back to my Google Ads on the top. There's a customer ID right there. If you see that right there and I'm going to copy that. Okay, I'm going to copy that right there. I'm going to put the 
add and there's going to be a link request okay so basically in that account if you go to that google ads account right here let's refresh the page okay so i can go here to google merchant center i can click on manage and i can review requests and i can approve the request if i do that now i've linked everything so all my products are going to link to google ads and that's it these are the four sections that we can link here there's obviously more google services but these are the most popular ones the ones we encounter the most uh, if you have any questions about this about linking data seeing information seeing or reports things like that let us know i uh, hope you enjoy this video if you like it please subscribe please share if you have any questions, we're a community here. Ask in the comments, ask us, say hello, and we'll be able to contact, uh, to talk together, to answer you guys, uh, answer questions, share information, and make the world better, make things more efficient, uh, and uh, just do what we're trying to do at OneSkills. Okay? Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.